So it's a long story really, but I could shorten it down. Um, Christmas Eve 2015, I was uh, rostered to drive a freight train um, down the trunk. And um, one thing led to another, trains ran late and I ended up taking a rental car down to pick up the train at Tangiwai. On the way down, I had a wreath um, with me from the Tirapa branch of the RMTU uh, that I was gonna drop off at the memorial. And um, when I got to the memorial, Bob Norling was there. Uh, Bob Norling's a, a local of Aokuni and um, one of the lead organisers for the event itself. Um, back then we started talking, or he approached me and we started talking about a memorial stone for the engine driver and fireman and it was going to be a really small $2,000 stone. And he approached me to see whether or not the RMTU might be interested in funding it. Um, from that day, um, he put me in charge with Callum Mayhe, who's uh, from West Coast Memorials, whose father was on the train that night. And uh, between Bob and Callum, they'd been working on this plan for that memorial. Um, really, from there, it just sort of snowballed into the event that it was, which um, saw it going from the $2,000 plane uh, memorial stone to a complete rejuvenation of the memorial site and the event for the unveiling and the, and the new design of the memorial that's there. So it sort of snowballed from that night um, and that's eventually how um, other groups like Kiwi Rail came on board um, as a generous sponsor for the event and uh, the Lions clubs, uh, various Lions groups throughout New Zealand and, and, um, and other organisations. So prior to the train running, um, we had to do some testing and certification on 1275. This was undertaken by our partners for the event mainline steam. Um, so they had their boiler recertified and the locomotive recertified for the event. Okay, all good to go. So the process for getting the trains to and from Tangiwai for the event was um, logistically quite a big effort um, by both the Glimmer Village Railway and mainline steam. Um, working really closely with Kiwi Rail. So from the start, we had to get carriages from Glenbrook certified to run on the national network. Uh, then we had to recertify the J1275. Uh, J1236 from Wellington was going through its certification process. So there were a lot of um, uh, sort of a lot of aspects really hinging on very short notice to get up and running for the event. Then of course there was the ticketing, um, and that was all handled through the GVR RES club rooms. Um, and so we had the Palmerston North train to advertise, market and sell as well as the Glenbrook train. Um, so there were two markets and, and multiple trips by our volunteers down to Palmerston North to advertise that and whatnot. My part in the um, preparation for the trip to Tangiwai was to get the carriages um, prepared and uh, signed off for the network. Um, the involvement in that was um, having the carriage inspected um, by myself and an independent uh, inspecting engineer and our um, peer reviewer um, from down Wellington, um, which was quite a lengthy involved process. Each of the carriages, which there were six, had to be looked over and, um, and then signed off um, and ready in preparation for the trip. All good. Um, it takes a lot of teamwork and a good team of volunteers, which we're lucky enough to have here at the Glenbrook from Dead Railway. Um, this involves um, washing carriages, getting the cars all clean from top to bottom on the outsides. Um, cleaning of the insides of the cars, such as the windows, seats, floors, and bits and pieces, and also preparing the car as in um, that everything's in there for the trip for sort of passengers' comfort, such as food, um, teas and coffees, and bits and pieces, which, which on the day we have a team of volunteers that do a really good job at doing that, um, and things right down to making sure the toilets are all set, cleaned, um, and that all the retention gear is all set up for a trip so everyone has an enjoyable day. Thank <laughs> you.
with this being a joint trip between the Glenbrook Vintage Railway and Mainline Steam, um, we had to get the Mainline Steam in to certify JA1275, which is um, currently in storage at the Glenbrook Vintage Railway. Um, this involved Lindsay and his team and then Mike College and the boys to come in and um, do the pit inspections on JA1275 for the, for the network, uh, which involved wheel readings, um, checking over the locomotive, um, all over and, and getting everything tested, brake, brake, get Western House brake and bits and pieces. Um, it involved about a weekend or two before the excursion for the engine to be steamed up and run on the Glenbrook Pitted Railway just to make sure everything was working fine um, and for, for the crews to make sure they were familiar with everything on board and, um, and then yeah, everything was all set to go. So since the return of steam to the main line in 1985, uh, there's been many steam excursions uh, run by the various preservation groups and as uh, more and more steam engines are preserved, um, more and more of them have run on the main line. In the latter years, um, there have been a declining number of steam certified crews, uh, guys that were originally certified to, uh, to operate machines uh, full time for the NZR. Um, fortunately, there have been uh, a few of us who were brought up through the heritage um, or the various heritage groups and gained our certifications under that and worked for Kiwi Rail and are able to now operate these on the main line. <laughs>
Okay. So I'll be one of the two locomotive engineers on JA 1275 leaving from Hamilton. Uh, there'll be myself and Richard Norton. My role is to uh, take the train from Hamilton down to Awakuni on the 6th of May and then from Awakuni to Tangiwai on the 7th of May for the memorial.
say that all the local engineers that uh, drive trains over that piece of track and indeed throughout New Zealand um, feel a, a deep connection with any crew that's been affected by um, an accident or were killed on the job. Um, Tangiwai is especially has a especially has a deep connection with um, the crews in Palmerston North and Tirapa. Um, it's a section of track that we both operate over. So the link between the RMTU and uh, Tangiwai is through local engineers of those areas. Um, and so when the opportunity came up to be a part of uh, this event, um, the RMTU were only too more than happy to to be a part of it. So on the day of the event, um, both trains will arrive at the Tangiwai uh, Memorial site. They'll be transferred down to the memorial where there'll be a service um, being conducted and an unveiling of the actual memorial itself. Um, at some stage during the day, um, JA 1275 will go onto the bridge and uh, blow its whistle in a mark of respect over a minute's silence for the, um, after the unveiling of the memorial. Um, and this should be followed by various presentations by dignitaries, VIPs and um, ministers uh, from the government coming along. Um, and then everybody should be getting back on their train and, and heading off.
Greetings, all of you who have come here today to this very special place, to this very special event. Distinguished guests, we are here in remembrance of the tragic events of Tangawai that will never be forgotten. To the families of those who passed, and to the uh, various groups that are present who have made a contribution over a long period of time to this place. Greetings, greetings, greetings to you all. Today, we unite with Wayne Butson and the RMTU to share in the remembrance of our forefathers who lost their lives in the line of duty. And a special hello to my colleagues from Kiwi Rail who travelled here in big numbers today to mark their respect. Thank you. As we have observed on Anzac Day, often the very worst of circumstances brings out the very best in New Zealanders. <laughs> Tangiwai was such an event and proves yet again in times of tragedy, the courage of Kiwis rises to meet any challenge. But today means more to us than closure for the events of the past. Lance died here, but his body was never recovered. And our Nana never gave up hope of finding him. This memorial for us will also represent his final resting place and a focal point for us in future generations. We hope that in the years to come, the people who come to this place will not only reflect on the tragedy that unfolded here, but will know the story of these two brave men who made the ultimate sacrifice all those years ago. Thank you. an absolute success. Um, it was wonderful to see all the various parties working together uh, and uh, ultimately we couldn't have done the families of engine driver Parker and Feynman Redmond's families any prouder. Hey, off to Auckland we go! Yeah, it was great. Um, the trip from our end ran very well. Um, very professionally run by the team. Um, good to see that both groups, Glenbrook and Mainline Seam, work well together and, and a good team effort. And, and the punters on board, the people that were the passengers on board the train, enjoyed themselves and had a good time. So, no, great to see and, and well done to everybody.